You're watching Around Town with Henry Dorman. Around Town is sponsored by Chemung Canal Trust Company. They're really nice people. Trust is their middle name. Service is their motto. And I like them a lot, and that's why I bank there. If you ever come by to look me up, I'll be in the vault. Safe place. People think they know everything about radio, but there's a lot about radio you didn't realize. It's all automatic, and it's hardly ever any human beings left except for David Taylor Smith. And what a name. It rolls off the tongue. And he's on the, on the radio for 45 years continuously out of Bath, uh, now on WVIN, every morning. And he knows everything. And he's the guru of local news. And he's the only thing that's not automatic in this station. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun together. You know, there was a fellow years ago that was hired by Queen Elizabeth to teach Prince Charles how to speak correct English. And he had the greatest name I've ever heard next to yours, David, Tavis, David Taylor Smith. His name was James Robertson Justice. Oh, I like that. And he used to answer the phone and say, Justice speaking, we well, can't, you, can't beat that. You know why I'm doing Dave Taylor Smith? Why? Is because Dave Smith is like John Doe. Hmm. It's just too common. Yeah. So I says, well, I'll go with Dave Taylor Smith. Be a little different. And Back like 40 some odd years ago when I started playing radio. And, uh, and you he, know, I actually started, I started in Elmira, at a radio station in Elmira. Yeah. WEHH it was called. Part time, 12 hours a week, couldn't wait to get on the radio. And How do you know what to talk about? Uh, you just ad lib it? Yeah, ad lib it, I do. Uh, I guess it's just, I don't know how to explain it other than I've been doing it for years and it, I have knowledge of what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. And when you have knowledge about uh, an event or a person or a song, it's just so much easier to talk about it. Well, so. I have a question I need to ask you, but first, he is also the savior of all charitable things in this old area because he serves on the board, he gives his time, he emcees these things, and he's such a nice fellow. Everybody likes him. I don't know why, but everybody <laughs> likes you. That's and, uh, quite accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I have people who don't like me. I but when a, you're in the public, you know there are people who aren't going to like you. You try to do your best you can. And I don't think I'm a savior, though. I've been involved in a lot of uh, fundraising efforts, and yeah. Turtle Beach is one that comes to my, close to my heart, yeah. which has just celebrated its 25th year, and we went over $600,000 raised for youth organizations in Steuben County, and that was a 25-year total. Tell me about radio. Everybody thinks radio is just turning on the dial, but it's now automated. Automated. How does this work? Well, it's uh, Isn't it, there's a company that does nothing but sell automatic things. Well, uh, it's become more automated over time. Software has made that very affordable, mm -hmm. and thus it, you have a great radio voice. I do. <laughs> so do you, Henry? Uh -huh. with a great TV voice. Uh -huh. <laughs> But uh, what a team! What a team! Yeah, yeah. You should be part of the morning show with me. I always looking for a new partner. So, mm -hmm. no. But uh, why no? No. Now he see, invites me, and then he says no. She. Well, I don't want to offend my partner in the morning. D. You know, she she hears that, and she'll be a little upset. But uh, you know, a quick but career. As as far as how it all works, um, it, it originates in the studio where you and I are right now, and this is where we do the morning show. Uh, it goes by wires to a. To a, a, but you push a buttons satellite. really here on your, you have a console. Yeah. And then you segue right into from what you're talking about to music. Yeah. And they have already pre programmed music for the entire day. You don't have to say a word except That's station right. break and news. I don't have to look for my songs like I used to when I first started. I'd have to go and find records. But as you look at the studio, there's no turntables here anymore. Yeah. They don't do turntables anymore. They used to go to, used to go, go to CDs. And now it's gone to all digital. The music is digital. The commercials are digital. So you just push a button. Yeah, yeah, or a mouse. Or a mouse. <laughs> just like. And we, it, it, it's on the screen right here. From one event to the next, the software put it all together. They meshed the songs, the commercials, the little liners. You know, the little mm -hmm. one-liners that we have in between songs. It's all meshed together. I don't have to do anything except talk. And then during the day, when it's all pre-recorded with music. You can go uh, hours and hours and hours of pre-recorded events or music or things except for news and not have a human being involved. Yeah, but you, you can do it and make it sound like it's live and local because you can do what's called voice tracking. And basically what you're doing is you're taking a 
four hour radio shift and you're just doing the voice part. So you work yourself an hour ahead, two hours ahead, three hours ahead, four hours ahead. You're just doing the voice part. And then it meshes in with the software and it sounds like the person's there right now. And then in the case of the news, 99% of the news is pre-recorded. It might have really? been done an hour or so earlier, mm -hmm. but it's not live now, generally. I mean, whether it's network or whether it's local, news most likely has been recorded 15, 20 minutes earlier or because in, in today's network radio, stations pick up the news at different times. Mm -hmm. So we, we have access to it. We use it during the top of the hour, and that's it, you know, in the morning, midday, and in the afternoon. And then we don't do national news, just those few times during the day. We do local news as well. That's one thing we do that more and more radio stations are not doing is, is local news. Mm -hmm. We think it's important, and it's a reason why people will listen. So... Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's why this station is so successful here in Bath. Well, we've had a what's lot of success. The, what's the range? Uh, what's what the what's called the 6,000 watt radio station. I'm not sure what that means in, in range because FM signals travel very differently than AM. AM goes up and down. FM just goes out. And the higher you are, the farther you go and the more power you have. We're licensed for 6,000 watts. We can be heard well in Elmira. We can be heard up in Dansville. We can be heard in Hornell. So. But we consider our footprints, uh, Bath, Camp El Savona, Prattsburg, um, Avoca, mm -hmm. uh, Hammondsport, th those communities. That's our backyard, so to speak. Are your sons following in your footsteps? No, I have four boys, and not a one is a broadcaster. What do they do? Well, they're, they're old now, I understand. My youngest is 35. <laughs> Just had a birthday yesterday, the other day. Uh, one works for the International Monetary Fund in Washington. Mm -hmm. I have another one that uh, works with Corning Inc. Corning. Uh, I have one that works at a very nice restaurant in Orlando, and I have another one who is uh, living up on Seneca Lake. So, it sounds uh, it sounds to me like they're going to be able to take care of you in your old age. Yeah, they're doing they're doing they're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, radio is uh, from when I started in October of 1970 uh, to today. Uh, uh, it's very, very different. It's software driven. Uh, many of the tasks are automated, whether it's the broadcast part, the billing part, the traffic part. Traffic is what puts the commercials uh, into the computer and on the radio. Mm -hmm. Commercials pay for the expense of having a radio mm -hmm. staff. We don't charge for people to listen to us. You go to watch cable TV and you got to pay for cable mm -hmm. TV. You don't have to do it with radio. Well, you do a remarkable job of keeping people happy. Well, I appreciate such, that. You're such a nice fellow. And uh, you know we've what? known each other for what, how many years? Oh, uh, boy. Since you've Since been Since the early here, days you know. of the Jack Lisa Youth Award That's program. That's right. That's where I first met you, and you have been a strong supporter of that program. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got to kind of know you, and I've had you on the show a couple of times. I've always wanted to say something like, maybe we can do this on your radio show, you know, to say, Good morning, America, or something <laughs> like that, you know. I can that, say, good morning, Bath. <laughs> well, that's, that's the way it is on whatever Walter Cronkite used to say yeah. as a sign-off. You know. They always had interesting personality things. You know what well, I say? What? Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. That's how I sign off. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day. We'll see you soon. Listen in. He's got WVIN. <laughs> Fascinating fellow. Nice man. Thank you. I'll be here, too. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll consider me a co-host. I'm working on it. <laughs> Around Town with Henry Dorman will return in a moment. Your Marine Corps' way of life is to defend the American way of life. stand for our nation, for each other, for us all.
The few, the proud, the Marines. Now getting rewards is faster than ever. Open a Shimon Canal Trust Company checking account with our debit card and you can join our You Choose Rewards program. Simply use your debit card to buy groceries, gas, or just pay bills. You could earn 5,000 You Choose Rewards points and a fast $50 when you qualify. Open a checking account and watch your points add up fast. For details on how to qualify, visit ShimonCanal.com. Shimon Canal Trust Company, member FDIC. My name is Joe Barris, and I'm the Chief Meteorologist at WENY. The Twin Tiers is home for me. This is where I live. This is where my family lives. This is where we own our home. This is where my children were born. I love this community. I love the fact that everyone rallies around each other. People know each other. People have each other's backs. I don't think you would see that in some bigger cities. We know each other. We help each other out. This is a great community to live in. This is home. We now return to Around Town with Henry Dorman. This is Karen Cromer, the executive director of the Clemens Center in Elmira, which is the theater for my, so many miles I can't count them, but she can, because she knows everything. And she's going to tell you what's coming up that you want to see and what new programs, especially for children, mm -hmm. that are coming up. So take it away. And we're on the stage of the Clemens Center a place where I'd like to be facing the audience, but there's no audience yet. But you'll be here soon. Take it away. Thank you, Henry. It's so nice to have you here. Um, this is a beautiful theater, and I've been here since October. So I'm just eight months on the job. So learning the community, I've felt very welcomed here. And I'm excited to tell you about some programs that we're having over the summer. Um, and right on this stage. Yeah, right here on this stage. Um, we're starting with um, Triple Talent Academy's Summer Musical Theater Camp. Mm. So we'll have the kids here from July 18th through August 5th. What age? They're ages 8 to 18. So a good variety of students from all over the area. Have to apply? They have to apply with the Academy mm -hmm. um, and they're accepting registrations now. Folks can check our website, clemensetter.com, and find out all the information about the camp. Is it expensive? Um, it's comparable to other camps. Mm -hmm. So a little more than some, a little less than, than others, mm -hmm. but um, affordable for folks. And they can always inquire about scholarships. So you can always ah. check with the academy about that. And what will they do here? Learn how to sing and dance and, and be stars? Well, Triple Talent is a, a music, a song, um, oh, I didn't know that. dancing. Yeah, and acting, so mm -hmm. triple threat, uh, really. Um, and they'll be uh, here in the building for three weeks and then culminate in a show on August 6th. So I feel so badly. <laughs> All my life I wanted to be a star, and if I had a program like this, I could have made it. Now oh, it's too late. Certainly you're a star, Henry, oh, in our eyes. brother, <laughs> bring out the violins. Tell me more, but so, you've got the, the broad, Broadway selections coming up too for the fall. Broadway series has been announced and they're on sale now at the box office. So folks have the opportunity to come and see a wonderful musical called Elf, which is based on the film by Will Ferrell. So we'll have a holiday treat right before the election time, which I think is appropriate. We need some mm. levity right before the mm. election. Um, and then we'll have um, the musical Once, which is a romance, and we'll have a tavern set up here on the stage. Mm. And folks can come up before and uh, during intermission, get their beverages right here. Really? Yeah. Now that's so an innovation. That sure is fun. And the cast actually is the uh, band uh, there on, in the tavern. So mm. the cast is your orchestra too. Who came up so, with that idea? Well, the folks that created that show. And it's a it's a romance, so mm. everybody loves a good romance. Um, it's an Irish musician who's kind of lost his way, and he's about ready to give up on his music, and he meets a beautiful Czech songwriter. And so you can imagine what ensues after that. You're very good, you know. Oh, you're, thank you. You're bubbling with personality. <laughs> thank you. Um, and then we go into um, the musical Cinderella, which is a story everyone knows, everyone loves that story. But to see how this new uh, production, uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, mm -hmm. the incantations they do, the magic that they uh, 
provide on stage. So that'll be wonderful for families to come to that one. Do you get to see all of these while you're deciding to employ them or not? Well, I get to see some of them in advance. Others I hear about. We're a member of the Broadway League here um, at the mm. Clemens Center. So I've got uh, associates all over the country. Uh, the tours go all over. So I hear from them and get their comments on, mm. on what's the best pick coming up. So You're an important person to know. Oh, yes. Well, thank you. You book the place. Yes. This is real power. <laughs> mm. And it's a lot of fun. I say it's the best gig in town, <laughs> next to yours, of course. It's the only gig in town. <laughs> you have no competition, really. Well, there's a little bit from um, sources you wouldn't imagine. Um, folks are competing um, with television, um, mm. radio, sports, other activities. And folks can, of course, look at um, movies on their mm. iPad or on, on their mm. phone now. So um, there's a lot of competition for us. Are the prices for the shows comparable? They're much less than Broadway. Much less than going into the city and the travel. It's great to have this in your backyard. And you got plenty of parking. Oh, yes, plenty of parking. You got plenty of everything here. Enthusiasm, parking, money, too. Well, we're doing quite well. Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we are. That's nice to hear mm -hmm. after all the other things that are going downhill. Well, see, I w would um, give that um, all credit to the community for supporting the Clemens Center over the years. They supported the building um, at a time way back before I was here when it could have been destroyed. They could have knocked down the building, but they compromised. They moved the lobby um, so that the highway could come through. Um, they've supported this building with restoration over the years, expanding the stage here so that it's, we could accommodate Broadway. It's beautiful the, the way you sit here because this stage is not unlike many real top-notch Broadway stages. Exactly. And now you've increased the uh, back part. Right. We expanded that back wall because there's so much equipment, sets, and um, and cast members, uh, you can imagine the wardrobe boxes and the wigs and makeups. How are the dressing makeups. rooms? Oh, they're fantastic. Everybody always complains about dressing rooms and theaters. They're lovely. And folks can have the opportunity to take a backstage tour with me. So oh. if they're interested in doing that, get in contact with us. A lot of times we'll take groups around and show them the, the secret stuff backstage. Mm. Secret stuff backstage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds, oh, I'm learning things all the time. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you about the, the, Does the you final... Charge, do you charge for that? Um, we're not charging right now for that. Mm -hmm. So that may be something that we do uh, later on. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Just to keep a little bit of income coming mm -hmm. in and cover our costs for... You can imagine turning on the lights in this building. It's a little expensive. Just turning on Just the lights. Just turning on the lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So two more Broadway shows to tell you about. Mm -hmm. We'll finish, finish out our season with... Um, the production of Pippin. So yeah. I think you've probably heard of Pippin. I saw the original cast. Yeah. Um, Bob Fosse, um, mm -hmm. uh, lots of song and dance, and this is a, a circus act too. So there's high, some high wire. Um, um, but ben, Ver ben Vereen won't be in it. No, we're not going to no. have Ben Vereen. But it'll be a really wonderful cast. Mm -hmm. And then we finish up with the 20th anniversary of Rent. So mm. Rent's kind of a show that has a cult following. So there are Rent heads that follow the show around and that they make sure they can see it every opportunity they get. Well, you're, it's, it's amazing the, the goodness, the goodness of people's hearts, and you included, to do all of these things. And you're right, the whole community backing a place like this and doing all the things that make people like you and other people who visit really feel good about doing so. It's a so, wonderful place. Thank you so much. You have thank cold you. hands. Oh, it's you a little chilly. Hands. Yes, it is. <laughs> I should have known that earlier. I would have warmed them up. Okay, thank you very much. We'll Thanks, see you Eddie. here. Call and, and look on the web because mm -hmm. if you book early, you can get better seats. Actually, yes. I will be sitting. They have chairs. I've just learned now they have chairs down here for VIPs. They're not part of the benches. So I, I'm going to try to see if I can get a sneak in there. We'll see you. Around Town with Henry Dorman will return in a moment. Yeah, it's going down. down. We're about to live it up, y'all. Let's go. It's a big world, and now we're loving this town. It's our turn. So put your hands up, we on the big screen. 
And everybody's here living out our dreams, dreams, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Don't be scared, take a chance, come on, give me a hand. It's time to laugh, time to smile, now let's get up and dance. Come on, everybody, let's live it up. Let it out if you can't get it up. This right here gonna make you jump. Jump, jump. This is home. Now, getting rewards is faster than ever. Open a Shimon Canal Trust Company checking account with our debit card, and you can join our You Choose Rewards program. Simply use your debit card to buy groceries, gas, or just pay bills. You could earn 5,000 You Choose Rewards points and a fast $50 when you qualify. Open a checking account and watch your points add up fast. For details on how to qualify, visit ShimonCanal.com. Shimon Canal Trust Company, member FDIC. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. We now return to Around Town with Henry Dorman. There are all kinds of new summer programs at the Dorman Library in Bath. And this is quite an interesting place because the volunteers really are here helping youngsters and other people to see a whole new experience at the library, including little, what would you call them? Critters or bearded dragon lizards. Bearded dragon lizards or critters. But <laughs> to introduce all of this magical, mystical stuff is Carol Berry, who is the librarian at the Dorman Library. And she is going to talk now, and I'm going to say nothing. Oh, thank you very much. I love to talk about the Dorman Library. And one of the things that we did recently, we hosted 140 kindergarten students. They came over in, uh, on last Thursday, and they had a story time with Miss Joyce. They had craft with Kathleen and we gave them a snack. And as a result, they wrote us this lovely thank you note, which the teacher had the children give her the words, and then of course she wrote them out. Very nice. We we're very excited to have that happen at the Dorman Library, and we're gonna have them back again every year now, I hope. Well, you have everything happening. What are the other things that are going on? <laughs> and what is she doing carrying this monstrosity? <laughs> No, she's in love with it. Yes, this is Tara's baby, and uh, I'd love to have her name? tell you about it because they're very popular here at the Dorman Library. What's its name? Uh, her name is Marigold, mm. and she is a rescued bearded dragon lizard. Uh, we were fortunate uh, three years ago to, to get gifted with a turtle, an eastern painted turtle that we had at the library for a while. But unfortunately, the turtle grew so much that we couldn't really house her here. So we found her a forever home. And during that time, I had a chance to take care of a bearded dragon for the local school for the summer. And I fell in love with these creatures. And so Marigold here was adopted from the Lollipop Farm shelter in Monroe County, where they actually have exotic animals. Um, for, to, for, for needing forever homes. And so she's been here for almost two years and she's about four and a half years old. And bearded dragon lizards come from Australia and they're called that because if you look very closely, the skin under her neck is black. And so when she feels afraid or threatened, she puffs it up and looks like she has a beard. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting to me that all pets seem to like getting petted. Yes, they do. They, I actually, Even with a skin, skin that hard. Well, actually, when I, um, they're very good. It's very nice to have them here to be able to talk to kids about reptiles because a lot of them don't have them at their own homes, and this is a, a nice place to be able to get to experience them. A lot of them, them don't have them in their own homes. No. Nobody has them at their own homes. <laughs> yes, they do. There are a few of us out there in, in the world. Um, and, in fact, my vet tech says these are the dogs of the reptile world. Really? They have very distinct personalities, and their back feels a little bit like a football, and I always tell the kids that these bristles on the side which can be 
um, pokey when they're shedding, but otherwise they feel like toothbrush bristles. Mm -hmm. And under the chin, they're very soft. But um, when people come in, I let them handle them. Of course, we always do proper sanitation when we're done holding a lizard um, because they, uh, they can sometimes uh, carry salmonella, so we, we're very careful with that. And uh, But it's an interesting opportunity for kids to get to know a little bit more about... Uh, How did you get to have green hair? Ah, I, <laughs> uh, I'm involved with the Cuca Lake players here in uh, Bath, and I was just recently in, in a production of Macbeth, and I played Hecate, the Queen of the Witches, so of course you have to be a little <laughs> bit more commanding. But actually the first time I dyed my hair was four years ago, and I did it because the kids, uh, we do a, 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 a flute in the Dairy Festival Parade, and I wasn't going to be able to be here for the actual parade itself. Mm -hmm. And the kid, and I felt really bad about this because I'd been working with this group of kids to put a float together. So I said, uh, guys, if you win, I'll dye my hair. And they said, can we pick the color? I said, absolutely. <laughs> and they said, Tara, you know, we've had best of show. So what happens if we win two awards? I said, well, this would be the third year. I'll dye my hair three colors. And they're like, can we still pick them? And I was like, absolutely. So that started the, the summer. Every summer I, I've, since then, I've been dyeing my hair for, for whatever reason, either for, play, uh, for doing plays or... Just because, you know, when, after you turn 50, you should be able to do things like this. I'm showing that crazy old lady, blue hair old ladies should Every, have some fun. Everything happens at the Dorman Library. Yes, yes. But now, you have other things happening, like this program, and you're going to tell us about what's going to happen this summer that they can get involved in. Yes. They really have everything here. We have an amazing summer program planned, and Tara has been in charge of that. She created a lovely brochure that's been distributed yeah, this, this locally to every student, went, and I'd like her to talk about it. Yeah, this one, we are really fortunate that we can offer the folks in Bath a, a wonderful time in the summer. And other places. And other places. Um, of course, we use the summer reading theme that is a national one. So this year, the it's on your mark, get set, read. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have some things that are involved with physical fitness. Uh, we have a musician coming to start to kick off the program. It runs through July and the first two weeks in August. We have a Marlin, the magician coming. Uh, Tanglewood, actually, a local business, uh, the Nature Center. They bring some animals down. We have an animal show, which is great. So they get to see other critters um, other than just the dragons. And we have a gentleman who is known for laughing and moving. So I think we're going to have a good time with that. Yes. And uh, a juggler. And we also have some storytellers coming. And one of the things we were hoping this year is that local businesses can get involved. Every kid that registers for our summer reading program will have a red band that says read, a little bracelet. And if they come into the library on uh, Mondays, they'll be able to get extra tickets um, for our grand prize. And this year we were very fortunate that that uh, Hickory Hill Campground uh, offered a, a package for a family, for a child and five family members to come and spend the weekend mm -hmm. at their facility and the certificate is good for a year. So we're hoping other businesses would like to be participating um, in the program. They can hand out some of our tickets. We want everybody to know that the whole community supports their efforts to read. And if they want to contribute, where did they contact you? A phone oh, number? Right here at the library, 776-4613. And you um, got a website? Yes, www.dormanlibrarywith2ends.org. This is the first time <laughs> I've done an interview with two ladies and a dragon. But the dragon is also a lady, so it's three ladies. Yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. And so, um, she never says anything to me. She's, she's, she's very silent. She's very uh, mysterious that way. Does she have a voice? No, actually, they don't make... Um, no noise. No noise. No noise. Mm -hmm. No noise. No. What a great pet for the house. Exactly, huh? exactly. Oh. And great life. And Carol was very nice to allow me to keep the, the, the dragons here. I get to say, I don't... For all your nerd viewers, um, if they watch oh, Game of Thrones, are there, are there all nerd viewers? Yes, uh, Game of Dragon or Game of Thrones. I am a Khaleesi. I am a mother of dragons. So if you don't know what that means, stop in and I will tell you. <laughs> They're waiting for you. They're waiting. You've got to see this. There's nothing like being here in person. I'll be sitting right here with the dragon. See you soon. <laughs>
You're watching WENY HD.